Okay, so this is a quick video to uh, talk about how to update the firmware on your Celestron Nexstar telescope. So it kind of occurs to me as I'm kind of starting to get to grips with my Celestron Nexstar 6 SE that basically there's software on this thing. Um, and I remember from the unboxing um, that I had a cable missing. It was a kind of uh, like an RJ42 cable or something uh, with, a, it was like, with a serial adapter uh, in the manual. I didn't have one of those, um, but it got me thinking that this thing perhaps is updatable. So I looked online and there is, there's a Celestron firmware manager. So I decided to download that and uh, basically bring my firmware up to date. So this uh, instructions um, should, shouldn't matter too much um, whether you're using, uh, I guess, a more current uh, Celestron Nexstar telescope. I'm sure this uh, also applies to some of the other ones as well, but I'll definitely comment on my one. Um, what you'll notice in the, in the video overview as I go through this, my controller is produced after July 2016, and that means it has uh, a mini USB port on the on the bottom. If you have an older one, you'll have the the, the RJ40 odd uh, connector on there, which will have a serial connector at the end, which will mean unless you've got a really old computer hanging around, you'll have to buy a USB to serial converter. Uh, so just keep that in mind. That the process should be the same, um, but obviously my basically the, the, the newer model like mine, um, it basically has that converter built into the handset. It's still a serial uh, connection in there. It just has a converter to con convert it to USB right there. Uh, I'm gonna be doing this on a Mac, um, but the software um, should work across platform because it's Java based. It's not Windows uh, or Mac orientated so as long as you've got a current version of Java on your machine you'll be able to install this um, manager the, the firmware manager and I'll put a link in the description as to where you download that from also a link to the Java homepage so you can download uh, the latest version of Java if you don't have it already um, so basically um, you can tell if you have a, a newer or older um, next style controller um, if you have the Celestron button in the bottom left hand corner of your controller then you have the new version. If you have a different symbol there, I can't remember what it is on the on the older ones, then you just have the older version. So you'll be running uh, version 4 of the firmware versus version 5 I believe. So once we've got that all out of the way, um, you're, if you're doing it like I am you need this uh, obviously USB cable. Not all cables are created equal. The first time I tried to do this, the cable, even though it provided communication, it just wasn't right um, to enable the update. So obviously it must've been wired differently. So I found a different uh, cable and it solved my problems. Um, you may or may not um, need to install some driver software. I don't believe I needed it, um, but I installed it anyway because of the cable problem I was having. So I'll put a link to that in as well. Um, but just to make you aware, in case you need it. So, um, from once you've got the your telescope turned on, you might want to check um, your current version just to make a note of it because the, the firmware controller isn't really going to tell you too much um, after this. Um, and you do this basically by pressing um, the menu button, scrolling through to utilities, then you can go through the version information and you can see uh, what you have. Then you want to turn your telescope off. Um, Turn your computer on, make sure you've got the, the Celestron firmware software installed. It's going to say basically that it's discovered COM ports on your machine because you have them anyway. Technically you don't on a Mac, but it doesn't really matter right now. Um, and then what you want to do is press and hold the bottom two left buttons um, on your Celestron controller and then power it on. And then you see it then goes into like a bootloader um, kind of function so it's ready to have um, communication um, with another device. Then plug your USB in, then go through the prompts um, on the Celestron firmware manager and it basically will detect your telescope. 
if it isn't detecting, then it's probably a cable problem or perhaps you haven't got it in the right mode or something, um, but it should be detected. And it will say that it's detected typically one device. If you have other uh, compatible uh, auxiliary components, uh, it may also look to update those as well, but with just a telescope, it will see one device. Um, and then obviously you select that and you go through the update. Now there's about 11 packages uh, installed in that Nexstar unit. So it will go through, it will read um, each of those packages and decide if it needs to be updated or not. So even if it is up to date, um, it will read through those packages and confirm that before doing the updates. It downloads all the updates, um, obviously from the internet, uh, into the package when you first open it. Um, so they're already stored locally, so you don't need an internet connection as long as you've opened that package up once before. Once it's all done, um, obviously, then you can disconnect. Uh, it will the, the tool will confirm it's all up to date, and it will basically be like in a factory uh, reset mode, asking you what language you want. Obviously, I press zero, and it's into English, and then it's like it was uh, all brand new again, and you have to set things up. So. I hope this is helpful um, because I know sometimes it'll be a bit nerve wracking for people um, to kind of flash firmware. Looking online, um, it seems that sometimes, obviously there's some bugs and they've fixed them. Uh, I put a, a link to the firmware update uh, information as to all the recent bug fixes. Um, I think as I mentioned in some other videos, um, this telescope technology stuff doesn't seem to advance that rapidly. So it's not like you should be doing this every week or whatever, perhaps maybe check it after six months and see what's happening. Um, but at least it, it helps you know that obviously you're running the latest software. Um, and I have read sometimes that people have had um, some sluggish slewing or sometimes the, the go-to uh, coordinate stuff isn't working very well and they've reflashed their software, even if it was still the same version and it's kind of ironed out some of those kinks. Um, so like I said, I, I've done this really just to make sure things are up to date. And as I'm going through the process of uh, improving my methodology for the auto align everything, it's this is kind of helping. So I'll do a couple of videos uh, soon about do it using the two star auto align, which seems to work um, best for me. And also uh, the Sky Portal Wi Fi plugin that I've bought as well. So there we go. That's how to flash the firmware on your Celestron next star. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.